Hi guys, it's Rachel. So today I wanted to do another tag video for you so I've got something to post on this channel and I'm going to do a vlog as well which may already be up because I'll probably put that up first. So if it is, I'll put a link to it in the bottom bar below but you guys know that I like putting tags up on here so you can get to know a little bit more about me and I just answer random questions about myself and today's tag is the childhood questions tag. So there are a couple of different versions of this. I'm just using one that I found but I have the questions here on my phone and I'm just going to go through and answer them the best that I can. I haven't read through them properly so hopefully there is nothing too um, difficult I guess for me to answer on here. But I hope you guys enjoy and as always I will list all the questions in the description box below so if you would like to do this tag please do leave me a video response or if you don't make videos just answer the questions in the bottom bar below. I'd love to hear your answers and hear a little bit about what you were like as a child or your childhood. So. Let's just jump into the question. So question number one is, where did you grow up? Now, I am actually living where I grew up. I live in the same house. Um, I've lived in the same house ever since I was born. My parents built this house uh, when, just after they got married. So a few years before I was born and we haven't moved yet. I've said before that we are selling our house and are going to move, um, but I'll still live with them at least for now and we'll still live in the same area. But because I still live here, I probably shouldn't say exactly where I live just for like safety reasons, but I have grown up in the western suburbs of Sydney just for people who, that's the general area, and like I said, I've been here all my life, and I like it. Um, I do work in the city, so in the CBD of Sydney, but I like sort of coming out um, and just sort of getting away from the city. I don't mind living in suburbia. I still have um, things to do around here, and there's still clubs and shopping and um there's like lakes and rivers and stuff like that so it is a nice place to live but yeah like I said I've lived here my whole life question number two is were you a good kid um yeah I was a good kid I um I think we all have our times where we're a little bit naughty but generally overall I was a good kid maybe a little bit too good I feel like I probably should have mucked up a little bit more as a child or as a teenager because now it's sort of unacceptable for me to do that because I am 22 so technically I'm an adult. Um, I don't feel like it but technically I am. Um, but yeah, generally I was a good kid. If anything, um, yeah, I think you'd classify me in the good child category. Question number three is what was your worst punishment? Um, I wasn't punished that much. Every now and then the wooden spoon came out and we were threatened with the wooden spoon. Um, I don't remember if I ever really got hit with the spoon, maybe a little bit, never really hard or anything like that. When I was younger, actually now still, I'm not a huge fan of vegetables and when I wouldn't eat my vegetables, the TV was turned off and I wasn't allowed to be turned back on until I ate my vegetables. And we usually ate around 7 o'clock, which was when Home and Away was on, which is a like a sort of almost like a soap TV show in Australia. And not that I watched it that much now, but when I was younger, I really liked watching it. So that was kind of like a punishment for me. Other than that, it was mainly like go to your room. Um, so yeah, that was like my punishment. I don't know if there was like a worst one in that, but that was the punishment. Question number four, sorry, is what did you do during summers? Um, for me, it was generally I was at home. One summer in high school, I did go to a camp, which was um, for a week or two weeks. I think it was like a week. And... Um, but other than that, I was generally at home. Um, sometimes we'd go on holidays with my family. Sometimes we'd go to Queensland or we'd go to Port Macquarie or somewhere sort of towards the beach um, for some of it. Other than that, um, I spent at home with my family and friends and we've got a pool in our backyard. So I spent most of my summer generally in the pool. Question number five is what is your best childhood memory? This is hard. I don't know if I have like one, I don't know, stand out memory as my best childhood memory. Um, Christmases are generally pretty good memories for me. I really, really love Christmas, which um, I think I've said like a million times, but I'll say it again. I love Christmas, so things like that really stand out. Um, yeah, I don't know if I could pick. I don't have like one some people have like that one like defining childhood moment which was like their most favouritest moment favouritest now I'm making up words um 
But yeah, I don't know if I have one specifically for me. I'll have to think about that one. If I, I'll come back to it if something jumps into my head. Question number six is, what was your favourite toy? I was, I am still a little bit really, like, fickle. I jump and change around. Um, anything that was kind of, like, technology-based, I really, really liked. Um, I remember having, like, Barbies when I was younger that were my absolute favourites. And then, like, little, like, a doll that had, like, all different things where it like had stickers and stamps and things like that that was kind of fun but I'm not sure I'd probably say my favorite toy if I can oh. sorry that was very graceful but reach over here would be rebel because uh, I've had him forever and he is really really cute and I love him and I guess I would call him my favorite toy because I still have him out of all my toys that I had when I was a child and you guys have seen rebel before but show him again he can make appearances in my videos just like my little penguin back there my pillow pet I love my pillow pets so cute question number seven was what was your favorite TV show um this kind of changed I guess when I was throughout childhood when I was really young I used to really like play school and Humphrey V Bear they were sort of some of my favorites that were on TV I also really like the Care Bears so like I have like Care Bears DVDs and Lady Lovely Locks if anybody knows what Lady Lovely Locks is Thumbs up this video and let me know in the comments below because I'd love to know someone else sort of had those. I had those on like video and there was like a TV show but I had it on video and I really liked that. Um, I guess in primary school there was a show called California Dreams and I really liked that show, that and Saved by the Bell and um, USA High. They were some of my favourites. California Dreams, I really, really liked sort of, I think it was like mid to late primary school that was on. It used to be on a Saturday. I used to tape it off the TV because it would be when I was going to play netball. But I really like those shows. And every now and then I like go online and try and find them because I kind of miss them. They were cool. So that was probably one of some of my favourite childhood shows. Question number eight is what was your favourite game? Um... I'm guessing, I don't know if they mean like games, like games or games like board games, but I'm going to go with games like board games. And for me, um, I really liked Operation. I really liked Game of Life. Um, you know, you know is still a favourite of mine. I love you know. There are a few that I can think of at the time. Um, if I was talking about like PlayStation game or something like that, I really liked Spyro. I still really like Spyro. Spyro and Crash Bandicoot are like my favourite ever PlayStation games. And I guess I kind of got a PlayStation when I was like 10 maybe, like the old PlayStation. So I'd say that's still childhood. <laughs> Question number nine is, were you ever bullied? Not really. And I am kind of lucky in that sense. I don't know if I was ever really bullied, certainly not to the extent that I know some people are. Um, every now and then I might have been teased about something, but as a general thing, I don't think I was really bullied in a bad way. Like every kid I think gets teased about something or gets made fun of at some point, but I know that then there are also like really bad bullying where like it's constant and people um, yeah, I, I haven't experienced that and I'm very thankful and I also don't think I ever really bullied anyone. Um, I hope that no one thought I was bullying them um, because I know how, how bad that, that can be. So I'm, I'm kind of lucky in that sense. Question number 10 is, do you stay in contact with your childhood friends? Yes, um, I've still got... Some of my, my best friends, like girlfriends, I've known since primary school and we went through primary school. I met them in um, kindergarten and I went to high school with them as well and we've been friends the entire time. Um, I still see some of my friends from primary school. We had our 10 year, so it was 10 years at the end of last year that I graduated from primary school, which is the sixth grade if you're um, outside of Australia. For us, high school is seven to 12 and um, primary school is six, um, kindergarten to year six. So we don't have middle school, we just go that way. 
So yeah, it's 10 years since I graduated from the sixth grade and I still got to see some of my friends because um, I live in the same area still. A lot of the people still live in the same area also. So I definitely do keep in contact with some of my childhood friends, not all of them, but there are certainly some of my childhood friends. Oh, so there we are. That was it. That was all 10 questions. That was, I didn't even realize I like got to the end. I'm like, oh no. There's no more questions. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this tag. Like I said, I tag all of you to do this. I'll put the questions in the description box. And I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and learnt a little bit more about me. And I'll talk to you all very soon. Bye.